Hey, good morning, guys. Got a beautiful morning here. We've got, we're supposed to get up to the end of the 90s today. Last night didn't get too bad. We was down in, uh, I think right at 70. So we'll warm up 20 degrees today. The trees are changing. Uh, the colors are starting to make a difference out here. Those big trees are, are beautiful. Got the white bark on them. The sycamore tree. Up at the home front, the red maple is starting to change. More so than the silver maple. It's going to be a beautiful fall, it looks, it looks like. I don't think I'm going out in the woods today. Take a break. We got quite a bit in. That little uh, homemade trailer I've got. We put a little too much on it and had a, it had a tire come apart. Leaked the air out of it sitting there and he just headed back home with it and didn't get very far and and we come around a, a different right angle and it was it was uh, put a bind on that tire and it rolled the bead on it and the air come out of it so it, it <laughs> we got to go get another tire it doesn't have a tube in it and the valve stem come out of it but it was an old tire those tires are old i bought that trailer uh let's see probably five years ago because i had a lawnmower i needed to take it up and get it fixed and i had no way of getting it so i put it loading it up so i bought a trailer for that purpose with intentions of selling the trailer after I got the lawnmower fixed. It was a riding lawnmower. And uh, the trailer was, I think I paid $300 for it. It's a custom made trailer, but I plan on just selling it after I got my lawnmower fixed. We kept it. Man, it's been a good deal. We've hauled a lot of wood on that. Sure come in handy. So I'll go up and get a tire put on it or a valve stem. I've not been down here at the pond in quite a while. Let's see what's out here today. My setting chairs, I like those chairs over there. Well, it's quiet out here. It sounds pretty nice. Let's go over here and sit down under the little tree. I told Marcia I was going out to the timber. She says, oh, why don't you stay home today? And I was going to go out and, and see if I could load up some more wood. We've still got a lot to cut down that's been cut and uh, needs to be picked up. But I'm not too steady. On my feet, and I don't like. She don't like me out there by myself, so I can understand that. But this little walk down here is pretty flat and nice. So we'll just come down here and hang out for a bit. How's that sound? Still running water out of that spring. <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's see what's over here. I can see some. I can see some fish in there. I don't know if the camera will show it, but let me get a little closer here and see if I can get in a in a spot that we can see it. 
that reflection they hide in that well they don't hide in it because but that's where they hid from my views in the reflection of the water I heard a few in there I wonder if this will zoom in not much changing of the year Marsh's favorite time of the year is, is the fall I like spring I like the something about spring the new life coming out I think is what makes mine the favorite part is just watching the life come out of the trees and the dead of winter and giving in to the new life I seem to enjoy that quite a bit let me see I'll sit here and open my tripod up there that didn't take long <laughs> You know, I, I paused it and then restarted it. It's kind of like falling asleep and waking up. You know, y'all don't see any difference in it. Maybe it's just a glitch. It'd be like it is during the when we're snatched out of here. Just be a, a blink, just a snatch. And we're out of here. And we're looking forward to that day. Yes, we are. And like when people die, the next thing they know, they're awake. It happens just so fast. You know? So, anyway, let's see what we got here in Scripture. What I had, oh, yesterday was that long one. I had uh, Thessalonians 1, verse 5. There's a lot in that one. <laughs> About half as many today for this one. But this is good, uh, fed the references in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. So, we'll check this out and see how it comes out today, alright? I haven't read through it yet. It's been a while since I wrote it, because I've been in the timber. I've not had a chance to write much. But I did get the last verse of chapter 1 wrote out, which was verse 10. I only had 10 verses in the first chapter, so I got those all rolled out. Then he sat up last night. So now I'm looking up and finding these other references to chapter 2. And we'll get into that soon enough. Alright, let's see what this here has in it. You want to? And you became imitators of us and of the Lord receiving the word in much affliction with joy of Holy Spirit. Yep. I am entreating you then, become imitators of me. Become imitators of me according as I also am of Christ. And according as we expect but themselves, they give first to the Lord and to us through the will of God. Become imitators of me, brethren, and be noting those who are walking thus, according as you have us for a model. For many are walking, of whom I often told you, yet now am lamenting, now am lamenting also as I tell it, who are enemies of the cross of Christ. For you became imitators, brethren, of the ecclesias of God, which are in Judea in Christ Jesus. For you suffered the same, even you by your own fellow tribesmen, according as they by the Jews. Not that we have the right but that we may be giving you ourselves as a model for you to be imitating us. Become then imitators of God as beloved children and be walking in love according as Christ also loves you and gives himself up for us and approach present and sacrifice to God for a fragrant odor now, we are making known to you, brethren, 
the grace of God, which has been bestowed in the Ecclesias of Macedonia. For in a test of much affliction, the superabundance of their joy and corresponding depth of their poverty superbounds to the riches of their generosity. For according to their ability, I am testifying and beyond their ability of their own accord. And therefore, we also are thanking God unintermittently that in accepting the word from us, from God you receive, not the word of men, but according as it truly is, the word of God, which is operating in you who are believing. Wherefore, when we could by no means longer refrain, it seems well for us to be left in Athens alone, and we send Timothy, our brother, and God's servant in the evangelist of Christ, to establish and console you for the sake of your faith. No one is to be swayed by these afflictions, for you yourselves are aware that we are located for this. For even when we were with you, we predicted that we were about to be afflicted according as it came to be, and you are aware. Yet not only so, but we may be glorying also in afflictions, having perceived that affliction is producing endurance, yet endurance testedness, yet testedness expectation. Now expectation is not mortifying, seeing that the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which is being given to us. For you did not get slavery spirit to fear again, but you got the spirit of sonship, in which we are crying, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself is testifying together with our spirit that we are children of God. Yet if children enjoyers also of an allotment, enjoyers indeed of an allotment from God, yet joint enjoyers of Christ's allotment. If so be that we are suffering together, that we should be glorified together also. Now may the God of expectation be filling you all with all joy and peace in believing, for you to be superbounding in expectation and the power of Holy Spirit. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace, patience and kindness, goodness and faithfulness, meekness and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Wow. And that's the references to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. And I'll put that up. I won't be adding anything to that. Can't add to that. It's pretty out here today. I think we're going to get out and, uh, well, actually, our car's out is uptown. We got our car in the shop, so Marsha and I have been without a vehicle since Thursday. So if we get out, we're going to walk. I'm going to try to get Marsha to walk down here because it's pretty down here. We come out and sit down. I just spraying and just sit here and listen to the water run. Sounds so neat. I think it's time to get the day started, y'all. You ready? I think I am. Grace and peace to you guys. We appreciate you being part of our family. We love you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. See you then.